are you absolutely sick of not being able to carry enough items and being over encumbered trying to carry all of your valuable resources? Are you tired of lugging all of that iron out of the swamp and bringing it all the way back to your base? Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be showing you how to get all the iron your heart could desire without having to travel back and forth to the swamp and being able to farm up everything that you could possibly need extremely easy. When you finally get to the part of the game where you're going to be making iron items, you need a ton of iron, not only to make the items, but to upgrade them as well. It is extremely expensive and takes an astronomical amount of iron. And quite frankly, it's really frustrating having to bring iron from your swamp all the way up here down to another base and then just doing all sorts of things just to get iron from these far off locations. Now, before you start with this, you are going to need to defeat the second boss. The second boss is called the Elder, and its spawn location is going to be different depending on your seed. There can be multiple spawn locations as well. You'll find runes throughout the map uh, that will point out the location, so you'll have to take down the Elder. The Elder is going to drop an item called the Swamp Key, which you're going to need to open things in the swamp. Once you get this swamp key, you'll be able to continue with the process. Now, if you haven't defeated the elder before, it can be defeated extremely easy with a bow. Just a bow, some fire arrows, regular arrows, and basically just kite it around until you kill it. It's relatively straightforward. Now, once you've got your swamp key, you're going to want to start getting ready to start this process. Now, if you have a cauldron, there's a few items in here that you can make that are going to be really helpful. Uh, mead base, medium healing you'll get once you start killing leeches in the swamp. Minor healing is really great, as well as poison resistance. So these three are going to come in really, really handy. You can get minor stamina as well if you want. Uh, and once you make some of those, you're going to want to start getting ready. And I recommend doing this like right next to your forge area. You're going to want to get all of the items that you want to take with you in your inventory so make sure you get enough food so that way you get all of your max health that you can get at the time as much stamina as you can pretty much empty out all of your inventory except for the things you need obviously you're going to want to take your best weapon shields come in really handy especially if you have a bronze buckler i recommend bringing quite a few pickaxes i only have one on me right now but i'd recommend bringing at least two or more healing potions obviously and then some armor everything else you can kind of just uh get rid of and having a forge right near you is going to help because you'll be able to quickly repair everything and then start with this process again once you've got everything ready and you're ready to start this process get right next to a chest and then just go ahead and log out now, one of the great things about Valheim is you can take your character, all of your equipment, skills, all of the items in your inventory, and transfer them to any world whenever you want, as many times as you want, back and forth. It's extremely easy, and I found a seed here with a massive swamp biome where we're going to be farming up metal, and we're going to be taking advantage of this. So what you're going to want to do is, once you get to the screen, you're going to create a new world seed. I like naming it Swamp. I already made one, so I'm going to make Swamp 2, because you can make as many of these seeds as you want as well. So you can continue farming the seed when you use all the resources on one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this seed in. Exactly this. It is case sensitive. So this is an L here. It's not an I. That is an L. So it's K-L-W-6-P-H-M-P-N. J. It is all case sensitive. Once you put that in, just go ahead and click done and then log into the world. Now, when you first log in, you're going to spawn right here at the spawn point. Now, another thing that's great about this is your character, when you transfer servers, no matter what server you're logging onto, will always respawn or log in at the last place you logged out on each server. So since I logged out here inside of the crypt, I logged in here in the crypt. So I've actually already located quite a few of these crypts in the swamp. And to be able to get to this area, it's really close to the starting location. That's why I really like this. Uh, so you're going to start here and you're going to make your way north 
until you hit this ocean area. Then you're going to follow the shore here until you get into the swamp. And I've already started marking all of these crypts. So these are going to be the locations you're going to want to go to to start farming up all of this iron. And it's really easy to get to. Obviously, you might have to, have to fight some monsters. You can avoid most of them and just get into the crypt. And then you're just going to start farming each and every one of these crypts to your heart's content. Now, if this is your first time actually mining for the iron, you're going to be mining these muddy scrap piles. But also, inside of these crypts, you might come across... Ooh, this is actually one of them. You might come across an area like this, which should have some chests in it. <gasps> oh, it doesn't have a chest in it. Oh, that was such a tease. Ah, uh, there's a chest. Do we got any Draugr in here? We've got one right there. Those chests are also going to have a ton of iron in them. Now, these chests can also be used as areas to store everything until you farm everything out of the crypt that you want. So what I recommend doing is just storing everything in these little chests when you find them. So loot them and get one like close to the entrance or something like that and put everything inside of there until you've mined up the whole area or until you're ready to log out. Now, once you have gotten everything you want out of one of these crypts, just go ahead and go to that chest to grab everything that you want to take with you. And even though you're going to be encumbered, just go ahead and log out. Now, once you log back into the main server, you're going to be right back where you logged out and hopefully in front of the chest. And then just transfer those items right into that chest. It's a really, really easy process. And you'll be able to farm up iron extremely quickly. Now, when you are doing this, if you ever encounter something where you're gonna die, I literally just had to do this. Like, say you get poisoned, or you encounter a bunch of things that are just absolute... Oh my god, brutalizing you like this. Just go ahead and log out. Because <laughs> you can log into another server, heal up, and then log back in. So once you log back in, you'll be able to heal. You can see our health was still at 74. Um, yeah, it's just something to be cognizant of because there are uh, times where you'll get like stuck or heavily poisoned. And being able to log out, get rid of that debuff or log out when you're about to die, uh, fully heal up on the server that you main on, and then going back in, you'll be able to save yourself a lot of trouble. So essentially, all you need to do is just keep transferring back and forth, farm up all of the different uh, crypts that you can find in that swamp area. Once you've farmed everything to your heart's content, if you want even more iron, so you've got a you know a whole tribe of people that you got to get iron for, you can just create a whole new map and just run through all of the crypts again. It's really nice, and uh, I'm quite happy that it's actually a function of the game uh, but anyways that is the process i do hope you all enjoyed the video let me know what you think in the comments below and if you have any tips and tricks that you want to share with me feel free to leave them in the comments below hit me up on twitter or discord and uh i'll see you all in the next one